Good evening, everyone. The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, right now, it's 8.01, and we will be starting in five minutes. Hey guys, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, hello everyone, and thank you for attending the International Convention webinar. My name is Casey Hines from the Alabama District, and I'm an International Trustee for the Kentucky, Tennessee, Wisconsin, Upper Michigan, and New Jersey districts. Hey guys, my name is Anastasia Slepakova. I am from the Capital District, and this year I'm the Key Club International Trustee for the Rocky Mountain, California, Nevada, Hawaii, Keywinds, Alabama, and the New York Districts. I'm also the Chairwoman for the Internal uh, Development Committee, and our, our committee has been greatly looking forward to sharing this webinar with you guys. Today, Casey and I are going to tell you everything you need to know about this year's International Convention including specific information on dates, prices, the location, 
tricks on how to afford going to the convention, and all the exciting plans that we have in store for you. To start off the basics, what, when, where, and why? This year, International Convention will be held in the Peach State, Atlanta, Georgia. The actual dates for the convention are July 6th to the 10th, but if you attend on a district tour, those dates can vary. If you're confused at what International Convention entails, don't worry. We're here to help. The International Convention, or ICON, is the biggest key club event in the key club service year, where you can meet key clubbers from around the world. Personally, my favorite thing about Key Club is meeting people just like you. ICON gives you the chance to meet like-minded people from not just the United States, but Canada, Jamaica, Caribbean Atlantic, and much more. There are so many reasons why you should attend ICON, but we've condensed it down to just a few. You get to elect your 2016-2017 International Board, share innovative service projects, bond with members from all around your district, listen to fantastic speakers, discover charities you may have never known existed otherwise, learn about more offices you want to may pursue in the future, and much, much more. Like Casey said, the International Convention will be held in the gorgeous and versatile downtown of Atlanta, Georgia. The International Board had the privilege of hosting our February board meeting in Atlanta, and boy, let me tell you, it was fantastic. Atlanta has so much to offer, and it is truly an ideal convention hotspot. During your district tour, or, or even during your free time, you can find yourself going to the Atlanta Zoo, which is home to over 1,500 animals, such as giraffes and pandas, and the Georgia Aquarium, which is the largest aquarium in the Western Hemisphere. You can also visit the World of Coca-Cola, which is a museum full of interesting, fun Coca-Cola facts, and they even have a tasting room with over 100 flavors for you to try. Atlanta was also home of the 1996 Summer Olympics, and you can still view the torch as you walk in the infamous Centennial Olympic Park. You can also visit Six Flags Over Georgia, which is an amusement park for the thrill seekers like Casey and myself. Uh, you can cheer on at the Atlanta Braves on the Turner, Turner Field, and the A Atlanta Wood Tours um, are spots that point out some of the famous movie scenes from award-winning moving movies, uh, such as um, such as there are many different movies that were filmed there. And speaking of famous movie scenes in Atlanta, Casey, my favorite food. My favorite movie was filmed right here in in the hotel that we are staying at. Oh, was it the vampire series you always talk about? <laughs> Vampires. Well, not quite. I may be Team Edward, but my favorite movie has servant leaders just like us. I still cannot believe that we are staying at the hotel where the Hunger Games were filmed. This iconic hotel has many recognizable scenes from the movies like when Katniss fearlessly broke into the Tribute Center to rescue Pita, the beautiful hotel they were staying at before the games, and the atrium where President Snow gave him his final speech. That's so cool. I even heard that the Key Club store is selling shirts and stickers that say, I volunteered before Katniss made it cool. And I have to agree. The characters from the Hunger Games can't compete with our 2,000 volunteers that are going to take on Atlanta in July. The Georgia District and the Key Club International Board really decided to think outside the box for this convention, and we have made some really cool changes this year to look forward to. This convention is truly going to be one of the best ones yet. You've heard the when and where, but what does the actual schedule look like? While it's up to the districts to decide if they want to do their tour before or after the convention, here's a glimpse of what ICON is going to be like. On our first day, we will commence together for an opening session to, to kick off the weekend, um, and then we will spend a few hours trading pins, playing games, and getting to know other key clubbers at the meet and greet. 
We will spend our second day getting to know how to be more effective leaders during our first round of workshops, share service ideas at the exhibit hall, and spend the remainder of the day bonding with other key clubbers and dancing the night away. Our third day is when the official business begins. We will spend our morning learning and sharing ideas through workshops, and then we will give every candidate running for international office a chance to share their platforms and have time for them and for us to ask them questions during caucusing. And we will recognize the hard work and achievements of members, officers, and clubs during the recognition session later that night. We will start off our fourth and final day together by discussing and voting for any amendments during the House of Delegates. Attend the closing session, which is where we will announce the results of the election, and then we will spend our last night dancing for Eliminate. As we get closer to the convention, the final schedule of events will be sent to those registered for the convention. There is so much in store for you guys. This convention is truly going to be an amazing event that you won't forget, and we hope you can attend. Now, Anastasia and I know that ICON can get kind of expensive, so we have prepared some ideas on how you can make it affordable. But before we share some tips with you about affording ICON, Casey and I would like to take this time to answer any logistics, um, logistical questions that y'all might have. So go ahead and in the panel box you guys can submit questions for us to answer. So, um, we have a question. Uh, someone asked if all dances are casual, um, and the answer is yes. Uh, they're, uh, they are casual, um, and you can get comfortable after a general session. Um, usually, we are business professional for the general sessions, but afterwards, you do have time to get changed um, and be casual for the dances. Um, someone asked how much free time will we expect at ICON. Um, it just kind of depends on the day. We try to give you a little bit each day, but also have a fun and fulfilling day full of different workshops and sessions. And so we try to space out um, a little time each day. And also, in addition to that, um, it depends on your district. Uh, if your district is coming early, if your district is coming um, or staying a few days late, um, it's really going to depend on that as well. So someone asked um, if you would be able to wash your clothes there or should you bring enough for all the days. Um, I would say that you should try and pack for all the days uh, clothes because you aren't going to have really free time to get uh, your clothes in the um, dry cleaning or you know to get your clothes clean so I'd recommend packing enough for all the days and then some uh, just in case you spill something at dinner or uh, one of your outfits gets ruined just make sure that you um, are well prepared for your outfits. Someone asked, is the departure Monday morning or Saturday night? Um, again, that just kind of depends on what your district tour is and when they are departing, but the actual convention ends on Saturday night at midnight. Someone just asked a really good question. Um, would this be a good event to go to if I have never been to any other organized key club event, or should I try to go to other events in the future first? Um, I would say that you should definitely try and go to the International Convention this year. Um, I myself, uh, ICON was the first Key Club event I had ever gone to. I didn't get a chance to go to DECON my freshman year, so ICON was my first organized Key Club event. and. It's honestly one of the best ways you can start off your key club journey, especially if you've never been to an event before. So definitely try your very best and make it to ICON. Um, it's definitely something that you're, even if you don't know many people now, by the end of the week, you're going to leave with so many new friendships and you're going to fit right in. Uh, because after all, inclusiveness is one of our core key club core values and uh, you're definitely going to see that throughout the week at ICON.
I totally agree with that. Um, I don't think there's any um, set manner of things you need to attend before international convention. Um, I think it's always a great time to, to go to international convention, and I guarantee you won't regret it. So someone just asked what kind of workshops will be there. Um, and this is a really, really fun question just because I love workshops. It's one of the um, really important reasons why you have ICON in uh, for you to go and you know learn things about leadership, about how other key clubbers around the world do service um, to share ideas, uh, learn new skills. But th some workshops are really fun. Uh, one of my personal favorite ones is always the um, it's Casey, it's the dancing one. We went there last year. Do you remember? The oh the um swing dancing. And swing dancing service. workshop. Yes. Yeah. So there's just a variety of workshops for everybody to choose from, um, and there's going to be some short ones, some long ones, um, some that are very uh, officer or, uh, oriented, so if you are a lieutenant governor or a district governor or any of the other respective uh, district officers, then uh, there are special workshops for you guys, um, but there's also a plethora of other workshops to choose from, and they're super fun, super exciting, and if you applied uh, for a workshop, you should have received an email in your inbox yesterday or today morning about whether or not you were chosen for to lead a workshop. Um, here's another question. Um, as a first timer, can you explain pin swapping? And so I think this is one of my favorite parts of International Convention. Um, it's most prevalent during the meet and greet on your first night. And um, most districts have like a set like International Convention pin or they just bring like their district convention pins and you go around mostly during meet and greet and you just meet other people and you try to gain as many district other district pins as you want and so um, my district has like a little lanyard and we always have a little game um, through our district tour to see how many people can get the most pins from around all of the districts and see if you can get like all 33 pins and so it's just a lot of fun to see all the unique and different ways that people are celebrating Key Club either through like their convention theme or how they interpreted ICON this year and um, it's just a lot of fun and a great way to meet new people. Um, so someone asked how many delegates are needed for House of Delegates from every district. House of Delegates is a very very important part of part of international convention because that is where we will talk, discuss, and debate and vote, ultimately vote on any amendments that are going to be uh, proposed at the convention, but also elect our new international board. Um, so House of Delegates is very important uh, for your district to have a strong presence um, and for people to be involved, but there is no set amount of uh, delegates that need to be represented from your district. Every single club that attends the Key Club International Convention um, has two votes um, at House of Delegates. If there is only one person attending International Convention from your home club, then that individual would be the um, the one the, the only vote. You don't get to vote twice. Um, and also, if you are a delegate at large, so for instance, if you're a Key Club International trustee or um, a district governor, a current one, or an immediate past district governor, you are a delegate at large. And so um, your club would still only get two votes. Um, but if you have like two members from your club going and then you are a delegate at large, then you ultimately would have three um, votes. But two of them are f because uh, every club gets two votes at the House of Delegates. Um, uh, I have a question that says, um, at DECON, the caucusing in House of Delegates usually takes a lot of time. Will the same apply for ICON? Um, it just kind of depends, um, first of all, how many people we have running and then how many amendments we have in the House of Delegates. Um, but it just kind of depends on what the schedule is going to look like for the year. But um, that is probably one of my favorite parts is just seeing who will be representing you in the future. And so I always think that's a really important part to pay attention during that and um, research their platform and stuff like that. 
Um, someone asked if uh, if it's too late to run for a position if they are a junior. Um, I would try my very best to reach out to your lieutenant governor and to your district governor because um, some districts are still forming their district boards. Perhaps they still have appointed positions um, available. So even if you are a junior, there may be openings for next year. Um, or perhaps if there is a division that currently does not have a lieutenant governor, for instance, in, your, um, in a neighboring division, that might also be an opportunity for you. But ultimately, um, I would take a step back and really see what you are able to commit in terms of um, the time that you have, but also remember that uh, being in Key Club, you don't need to have a position in order to make a difference. And I really can't stress that enough um, in that you can make such, such a big impact without ever holding a position in Key Club. Um, and so just because you're a junior and you don't have a position, don't get discouraged. And, even if you don't have an opportunity to be an officer next year, um, always know that there is Circle K uh, in college, and so definitely try and join. I know that's the first thing I'm going to be doing after the International Convention, paying my dues and joining Circle K next year. Thank you for all of your questions for this round. Um, we're going to have another question time later, but we are going to continue with the webinar at this moment. So just like promised, um, we want to share some ideas with you guys about affording ICON uh, because ICON is truly an incredible experience. And so if the cost is holding you back, this is how you can find support. First and foremost, you need to be willing to advocate for yourself. So don't be afraid to ask others for help. After all, we are just high schoolers and adults know that and are generally very, very supportive. The total cost can seem like a lot at once, so we strongly recommend using the rule of thirds. Break down the total cost of attending the convention into thirds. Be responsible for the first third yourself, whether it is saving up money, asking your family for donations for your birthday or graduation, or starting a GoFundMe. This way, you're held accountable for part of your trip, and it will be easier getting another member of the Kiwanis family to be invested in your future. Next, ask your club and principal to help you. And finally, for the remainder of the cost, be sure to reach out to your Kiwanis Club for help. You may not know it, but most every Kiwanis Club has a budget allocated specifically for their key clubbers. And most of the time, it is left unused because key clubbers just don't ask. Casey, I could not agree with you more. The Kiwanis motto is to, motto is to serve the children of the world, and so they want to help you. Think of ICON as an investment in yourself, your club, your division, and your community. The knowledge, the exposure, and the excitement that you gain from attending the International Convention is priceless, and the adults know that. When you are asking for support, we recommend first building relationships with your Kiwanis, with your Kiwanis club by inviting them to your club meetings or for you to be going to theirs. Let them know that you care about the Kiwanis family as a whole and that you're looking forward to building a future relationship with them. Next, write a formal letter to them introducing yourself. Share your Key Club experience so far and why you want to attend ICON. We even have a sample letter template on our Key Club International website that you can use. And finally, if your Kiwanis Club is generous and gives you funds to go, be sure to take pictures during your trip, take videos, and to ask to personally attend one of their future Kiwanis meetings to thank them and to share what you had learned. Not only is this courteous, but they will also be more likely to help your club fund future icons, key leaders, and decons. So, how do you sign up? If you would like to attend ICON with your home district as a part of your district tour, check out your district's website or contact your district administrator, lieutenant governor, or district governor for dates, prices, and details. If you choose to go individually, registration is already open, but you must have a chaperone that is 21 years or older. The link for registration is on the screen. I hope you guys are just as excited about this year's international convention as we are. I can let you in on the secret that the more key clubbers attend, the more fun we will have. 
think about it. Someone had to tell you about how cool ICON was that convinced you to attend this very webinar. Now it's your turn to be that someone. So be sure to let your friends and your fellow key clubbers in your division know about ICON. The Georgia Host Committee and the Key Club International Board even made a promotional video that you can share with others. Let's take a look. It's so cool seeing these different projects and ideas, and plus, this is where they shot some scenes in the Hunger Games. We take pride in being an international organization, so ICON is a great way to meet members from all over the world. We come from different paths of life, but we have the same passion for serving our homes, schools, and communities. My favorite parts about international convention are House of Delegates and elections. I really enjoy having a direct voice in this international student-led organization by discussing bylaws and electing your new international board. And there you have it, Key Clubbers, some of our favorite things to do right here in the heart of Atlanta. But that's not all, because there are so many other things to do while you're here, like taking a roller coaster ride on Goliath at Six Flags Over Georgia, watching the Laser Show Spectacular at Stone Mountain Park, or hopping on a streetcar ride to visit the National Martin Luther King Jr. Historic Site. There are so many things to do while you're here, and we can't wait to host you for the 2016 International Convention. See y'all in Atlanta. Hey guys, we realized that the video had some technical difficulties, but we really want to share this video with you. Um, so we're going to let you guys watch it uh, from the beginning with sound this time. Sorry about that. There we go. Hey, Key Clubbers. My name is Emma Johnson, and I am your host chair for the 2016 Key Club International Convention in Atlanta, Georgia. We're here at the Convention Hotel, the Marriott Marquis, which some of you may recognize from a, a particular movie that has those other kind of volunteers. We thought we'd share with you the things we like to do and the places we like to go to help you plan your trip to Atlanta, Georgia. One of the newest attractions in Atlanta is the National Center for Civil and Human Rights. Don't miss this cultural experience that brings together the American Civil Rights Movement and the Human Rights Movement of today. My favorite place to go in Atlanta is the Georgia Aquarium. It's the largest and number one aquarium in the U.S. It's home to thousands of fish and aquatic animals, an educational exhibit, and an incredible dolphin show. And here in Atlanta, we don't have soda or pop. It's all about Coca-Cola. My favorite attraction is the World of Coke because you can taste over 100 different flavors of Coca-Cola products. You can chill with the polar bear, and you can even see the vault that houses the secret formula. 
Make sure the tour notes are like 6 through 10, but check your district website as your tour dates may be different. We're excited to share with you a little bit more about what we love about Key Club International Convention. I don't know about you, but I'm excited for the workshops at International Convention to learn new, innovative ideas to bring back to my club. You should come to ICON 2016 because you get to be like Miss International Board. It's gonna be lit. Uh -oh. My favorite part about convention is the general sessions because we get to hear some awesome speakers share their messages and their stories. We get to see some amazing talent acts and entertainment, and we all just get to celebrate Key Club together as one big family. Every place on Earth interprets service differently. At ICON, you're able to see how clubs express their perceptions of service. It's so cool seeing these different products and ideas, and plus, this is where they shot some scenes in the Hunger Games. We take pride in being an international organization, so ICON is a great way to meet members from all over the world. We come from different paths of life, but we have the same passion for serving our homes, schools, and communities. My favorite parts about international convention are House of Delegates and elections. I really enjoy having a direct voice in this international student-led organization by discussing bylaws and electing your new international board. And there you have it, Key Clubbers, some of our favorite things to do right here in the heart of Atlanta. But that's not all, because there are so many other things to do while you're here, like taking a roller coaster ride on Goliath at Six Flags Over Georgia, watching the Laser Show Spectacular at Stone Mountain Park, or hopping on a streetcar ride to visit the National Martin Luther King Jr. Historic Site. There are so many things to do while you're here, and we can't wait to host you for the 2016 International Convention. See y'all in Atlanta! I hope that video got you pumped up for ICON. So let's share our excitement. After this webinar, let your friends and followers know that you are going to ICON and what you're most excited about by using our official convention hashtag, KCGA16. You might even get a follow or a retweet from the official Key Club Twitter account. And we know this has been a very busy week for for everybody. So if you have friends that weren't able to make it to this webinar, we hope that you can. Uh, this webinar will be is recorded and will be broadcasted later on. So make sure that you share this webinar with anyone that is interested um, in going to the international convention. We want to thank you so much for attending on our webinar, and we hope that you learn more about ICON. We truly, truly cannot meet, wait to meet everyone in July. Now, if you guys have absolutely any questions, we are ha more than happy to answer some of them now. Um, and if we don't get to your question, we will reply uh, to you personally within the next few days. Thank you, everyone. So someone asked that um, if they got a first place award at DCON, do you have to bring that award to ICON as well? Um, their Kiwanians advise them that you should. Uh, if you did place um, at your district convention, first of all, I want to say congratulations. Uh, that's amazing. You're very talented uh, in whatever field, whatever award that you applied in. And, um, being first within your category does put you um, in contention for that award at the international level. Um, so that's what you will be competing at for at ICON. So um, you don't necessarily need to bring your award to ICON, um, but you do have an opportunity to uh, compete with other districts and with other individuals within that category at ICON. Someone asked, um, what are effective ways to fundraise for the costs of ICON? And um, I think the two go to, and I think, in my opinion, the most effective are um, a bake sale, because never doubt the power of some sweet goods and what people will buy. And um, since it's getting um, into the warmer months now, a car wash, I think will definitely be effective around your community. And um, if you just let them know, like, I'm trying to fundraise for this amazing convention where I can learn how to be a better servant leader and a better volunteer for my community. Um, I think those could be really effective for you. 
So I want to ask if you're on the district board, is there a discount? Um, now your district may provide a discount and so we would definitely recommend uh, checking with your district tour planning team um, and talking with your district administrator because um, there are some districts that do give you a district board discount. Someone asked, um, will all the events we went over, like the aquarium, be a group thing? Um, will we all go together or on our own? Um, that just depends on what you were personally doing, if you were going on a district tour or if you're going individually. Um, I know a bunch of district tours are doing the aquarium or the Coca-Cola Museum, but it just kind of depends um, what district you're in. But if you're going individually, um, you can do... Um, any other things around Atlanta that you and um, your chaperone would like to do. Now there are some more questions about the House of Delegates. Um, there is a question if the amendments are going to be presented to key club members before the House of Delegates at ICON. Um, and any club or in any uh, district board is able to uh, submit a key club amendment 45 days prior to the international convention. So once all of those have been uh, collected and formatted, we will send them out about a month prior to the international convention for members to review um, all of the amendments that are proposed at the House of Delegates um, and for them to be able to relay and um, share their opinions and uh, with their leaders if they're perhaps not going to ICON or if they are, they have the time to talk with their club and see how they, um, how an amendment would affect them or whether they support it or not. Um, in addition to that, um, there was a question if delegates are given rules and guidelines in preparation for House of Delegates. Um, House of Delegates, if you are within House of Delegates, if you are a delegate, you are going to receive um, like the rules of the House. Um, and so if you do have any questions about that, you're more than welcome to contact your international trustee. Um, and we can you know, debrief you more about uh, Robert's rules and like parliamentary procedures um, and any questions you have about that. But the House of Delegates at our national convention does follow Robert's rules of order. Someone asked, um, are there things such as an essay challenge or talent show at ICON? And um, Anastasia is going to have to help me, up, help me out on this one. But there is a talent show, an oratorical contest. Um, Uh, yes, and so those those categories, um, if you did place at your district convention that you are given the opportunity to um, to audition for those, and usually um, it we, we try and make it work so you're not missing um, anything from the convention itself, so there will generally be a workshop time slot during the workshops for you to go and write the essays or for you to go and perform um, your oratorical speech. Uh, the, the, we, the International Board this year selected the topic for the speech um, and that has been uh, out since uh, July of last year. So um, that's out there and so you would know if you did place at your district convention. Someone asked if there's going to be Key Club merchandise at ICON um, and if it's the same one as the Key Club online store. Um, there's going to be, um, every year there's some awesome, awesome Key Club merchandise and um, the stuff we bring to international convention sometimes um, is uh, are things that for, is not on the Key Club International website. I know my uh, my sophomore year, I got a Key Club license plate, like the um, the border of it, and I've had it on my car ever since. And that's not something that is sold. Um, but there's definitely so much more that's going to be able um, that it's going to be for sale at the Key Club International Convention. So if you're going, definitely be sure to stop by the Key Club store to get some of that Key Club gear. And uh, we'll definitely have our Key Club shades and those fanny packs that I. I know have been uh, very, very popular this year. Um, and obviously, the I Volunteer Before Katniss made a cool sticker that we talked about earlier in this webinar. Someone asked, um, will we be in Business Professional the whole convention? Um, we will be in Business Professional, Business Casual, and Casual for the dances and um, free time and stuff like that. So you're not um, in a pantsuit the whole time. 
um, you can switch it up a little throughout the convention. Um, I've got a question uh, asking what my personal favorite thing to do at ICON is. Um, I am very big into spirit and uh, doing Key Club cheers. I, as I mentioned earlier, come from uh, the capital district of Key Club International. Um, and so uh, one of my favorite, favorite things about ICON is seeing the most passionate and spirited servant leaders from around the world coming together for a whole week of fun. And um, all of us, you know, have the love for, and passion for service together. And um, it kind of gets crazy because everybody has different mascots um, and so the capital district uh, we have crabs and so you'll see people in crab suits running around we have crab cheers um, the you know California Nevada Hawaii key clubs uh, they all dress uh, the same and they have really crazy cheers going on along with the key wins and um, there's just bunch of like uh, cheer battles going on, uh, the Canadians, uh, and then there's like the P&W with their moose hats, and there's uh, flamingos running around, and it just gets really, really crazy, um, but it's really fun because it's something that um, is truly an experience that not a lot of high schoolers are able to have, um, and for you to be at an international convention and meet people from all over the world. I remember my first convention, I met uh, kids from Aruba, and uh, that was one of the coolest moments of my life because they had those really cool pins that were really, really rare, and so I think I traded like 12 of my pins for one Aruba pin, and I still have it to this day, um, and so you just get to meet so many cool people and get to know how other members do service various projects that they do and just get to meet people from all over the world. It's awesome. That's definitely my favorite part too. Um, just meeting people that have your same um, kind of like personality and mindset in that um, you just want to serve others and do what's best for the community and the people around you. And so seeing people from all over the world who share that same interest and same desire and same passion that they're at this convention, convention and that they love Key Club so much that they would spend their money and their time of the summer coming to this convention, I think is absolutely incredible and definitely my favorite part of ICON. Um, someone asked how much money do you recommend um, that we bring for meals and souvenirs and everything. Um, I definitely uh, would first check if you are going on a district tour, um, check to see how many meals your district tour covers. Um, because um, I know districts a lot of times have, uh, you know, times where you would go on your own and you would buy and purchase a meal or you would, um, you know, as a district, you'd have a suite and you get pizza or everybody gets Subway. And so first make sure um, you find out what's included within the district tour price that you would be paying. And then on top of that, um, I definitely bring some extra money for um, there's a Starbucks uh, nearby. Um, there's, you know, you can go to get souvenirs. I personally collect magnets um, everywhere I go. So I need to always, you know, make sure I have some um, extra money for souvenirs uh, to bring back to my little sister. Um, so whatever, you know, you just need to have a conversation with your parents and, um, you know, how much money uh, you want to bring. And make sure you also have some cash just in case. Um, uh, your credit card, you know, you lose it or something happens. I know in California, my credit card just like stopped working um, because, because uh, I like I never traveled before Key Club, <laughs> and so they were like, "You're in a really like you've never been to California, and you just wasted a lot of money, so we're just going to close your uh, credit card." Um, so just make sure you bring uh, cash just in case, um, and perhaps call your uh, bank and tell them that you are traveling if you're doing a transcontinental -con like, uh, trip. Someone asked what usually happens during general sessions. Um, the first one will have a couple guest speakers. Um, the international board will um, be introduced and we'll talk and um, our speakers this year are listed on the website. Um, we have three TED Talk-like speakers, and so um, the first general session is going to be really exciting. Um, we also have more um, specific sessions, like the recognition session, where we have um, people um, who won awards, such as um, Outstanding Lieutenant Governor, 
um, outstanding district governor, all the outstanding executive positions, and then we also have a closing session where we have um, the announcement of your new international board. We have some more um, speakers, and so we have a lot of different sections that are specialized for certain things, but they're all really fun and exciting. I have a question about um, the price range of ICON. Um, everybody, uh, the as of right now, um, the regular registration is two hundred and fifty dollars, and that's May second to May fifteenth, which is the time um, we are currently in. Um, and the host committee, if you are from the Georgia district, um, you have a discount of one hundred and fifty dollars. Um, so you would be paying $150 for your registration. Um, now the overall cost for your district tour can vary, very, uh, can vary greatly. Um, there are some districts that are uh, not providing transportation to ICON, so they would be have to, um, you know, drive themselves, and uh, cost for that would not be the same as cost for someone that's flying from, for instance. Um, you know, Seattle or from California across the country or for perhaps from even the Caribbean Atlantic uh, districts. Um, and so when you include the costs of that, um, your ICON price will be very different. Um, and also if your districts are doing tours, so if um, like many districts, they purchase tickets to go to Atlanta Zoo and the National Aquarium, the Coke World, um, all together. So your cost for ICON will probably include some of those things along with meals um, and a district t-shirt and a district uh, you know, souvenir and a district pin. So it really varies. So our recommendation is to contact your district, um, Lieutenant Governor, your district administrator, find it on your district website, and your district tour should give you the prices of your what you would pay. Um, unless you're finding your own chaperone, then the cost you would have to pay is $250, um, in addition to anything else on top of that that you would be required to pay in terms of getting there and, you know, the activities that you want to do. Um, I've gotten two questions on how big are the hotel rooms and how many people are staying. Um, it just depends on um, your district tour and how much if um, you're paying for that or if you go individually. Um, the rooms themselves are pretty large. Um, the hotel is absolutely amazing. Um, you can Google it. It's the Marriott Marquis. Um, it's huge. Um, one of the things that I think is going to be um, really beneficial um, on our part is that they have certain elevators for certain floors. So if you've been um, to international conventions or decon or district conventions in the past, um, you know that elevators get backed up really easily. And so um, hopefully that won't be as big a problem this year because um, certain elevators are specified for certain floors. Um, but the rooms themselves are pretty large. Um, I know in the Alabama district, for our district tour, we can either pay to um, like the lowest price, which would be four-door room, or we can pay three-door room or two-door room or a room by yourself. And so um, that just depends on your district tour or if you're going individually. But the rooms themselves are pretty large, and they're really nice, I have to say. <laughs> Is ICON a good opportunity for me to look into international office next year? If so, uh, what should I do? Um, ICON is a great opportunity for you to um, have a better understanding of the uh, process of running for an international office. Um, it definitely gives you an idea of uh, the type of uh, campaign that you have to um, create and um, you know, gives you kind of like an idea of the caliber of uh, preparation that you would have to do for uh, running for international office. But it certainly um, does not encompass and it doesn't give you a, a full and extent of what an international officer does on a daily basis. So uh, my recommendation with, to you would be to contact um, your Key Club International Trustee, contact, honestly, <laughs> um, any international board member, and talk to them, ask them about what it's like, um, you know, what do they do on a daily basis, what kind of things do we do um, throughout the year, what obligations we have to um, we have to make, what responsibilities we have, uh, because ICON is um, just a week of the year that uh, you are getting to see what the international board does. Um, but there's a lot of preparation that goes um, into it. And also, 
if you haven't been to an international convention and you are planning on running for um, international office, uh, definitely be sure to perhaps like ask someone that has gone before because um, I know districts um, and district convention and running at district convention is very, very, very different um, than running for international convention uh, just because of the types of questions that you get, the um, the format and the amount of speeches that you have and also um, putting together your campaign flyers. There's just so much that goes into it. So I definitely recommend talking to someone um, that currently serves in the position of the office that you are thinking about running for next year. So someone just asked um, if districts are separated by floor at the hotel. Um, if you haven't uh, seen the hotel, the pictures of, um, of the hotel, it is absolutely gorgeous. There's so many different floors. Um, and there is, uh, you know, key clovers are going to be talking floor to floor. We can already tell. Um, I kind of feel bad for anyone that's staying there um, during the convention that's not part of key club. Um, but no, uh, districts are not. Uh, separated by floor at the hotel. Um, they are grouped together, so you are going to be um, within the general area of where everyone else from your district is, um, but your district administrators are going to be um, the ones determining uh, what floors you're staying at. You guys probably going to be staying on different floors too. Um, and so it's a great experience because you might be rooming next door to someone from a different district. Um, and you know, you, you get to meet them and uh, play cards in the halls or something, uh, you know, and go out for lunch together. Make sure you get to know your uh, the people in the rooms next to you because you don't know what districts they're from. It's really funny because um, two of my districts uh, last year were um, on the same floor and uh, they passed each other so many times and they like made so many friendships. So it was really great um, for my sister districts to uh, for them, you know, to become uh, sister districts because uh, they already made those friendships and um, you know they had a great time at Icon last year. So they're looking forward to having it again this year. Um, someone asked, any words or advice for first-time Icon Key Clubbers? And I think the biggest, I guess, advice I could give you is um, to not take any of the time you have for granted. Um, you're going to want to so bad to sleep or skip a dance and go to bed early because you're going to be tired. Um, we know, like, it's all day full of fun um, stuff. But um, I would just make sure to take every moment and make sure you're out there meeting people. Um, if you're normally like shy and reserved, um, just try and step out of your comfort zone. Go to someone that you've never seen or never met before and trade pens with them. Um, go and just try to make as many friendships as you can um, because you never know. In the future, you may be seeing someone you met at an international convention. Um, I, um, there was a guy a couple years ago who posted on Facebook, uh, I think it was like a month ago, and um, he was traveling to Jamaica, and he was a governor, and he was traveling to Jamaica, and he saw his trustee from Jamaica in the airport, and he posted on Facebook, and was like, I haven't seen this guy in like four years, but um, I think it was just an amazing thing to see that on Facebook, but um, that would be my biggest advice to um, first time people going to international commitment is to just make sure to take every moment and um, to make as many friendships as you can as possible and um, to really get the true essence out of Key Club and that um, is just to go back to your homes, your schools and communities um, pumped up for service and pumped up for the next service year. I cannot agree, Casey, with you uh, more on that. And uh, Casey and I have served on the International Council for two years now, and so uh, we definitely have 
made so many new friendships, and it's crazy to think that um, like Casey and I were at the same convention uh, like three years ago, and we didn't even know each other, but like we were there. Um, definitely, like some of the people that like you meet at Icon uh, personally for me um, have been some of the like just the best friends that I've had, and also you have the opportunity to really, really, really get to know people from your district at Icon, um, and I think that's like has been also one of my favorite parts of ICON. It's the fact that you go with your district because when it, when you're at DCON, there's so many people there. Um, um, but when it comes to going to ICON, going with your district, you're traveling together. Um, you know, whether it's a few states, whether it's across an entire country, you're spending a whole week with uh, getting to know people from your district. And so you get to know each other so much better. Um, and then uh, the friendships that you make are going to result in you wanting to go to key leaders and going to, um, you know, different conferences and different uh, rallies and uh, really you will meet people that just get you, and you, you will meet people that will understand just how important service is and um, will know how to make it fun. So um, I have a question that uh, is asking. Um, there, people are wondering how long caucusing will be during the convention. Um, so caucusing is going to uh, really vary based on the amount of candidates that we have running for office. Um, and so it, it really is going to be a matter of um, how many people are running for international trustee and how many people are running for um, president and vice president. Uh, so we really can't answer that question at this moment, but as soon as the candidates booklet is released, you will be able to get a better sense of it. And um, I know sometimes like caucusing can be long, but if you take the time and go through the candidates booklets ahead of time and really get to know and understand their platforms and their campaigns, um, caucusing is is, is, it can be really fun because you get to really know the people that are running. Um, you get to ask them questions uh, to get to know, you know, um, where they stand on perhaps an amendment that is passed, or um, you know, what has shaped their key club experience. What do they have to bring to Key Club International next year? And um, it's really important that we take it seriously because these are the future leaders of our. Um, organization and these are the potential candidates that are going to be serving perhaps as even your trustee next year. So, um, and obviously president and vice president. So it's very important to take time and uh, really get to know the candidates during caucusing. Someone asked, oh, sorry. Um, how much money would you recommend that I bring for food and souvenirs? And um, Anastasia touched on this earlier, but um, it really just depends on you. And so um, um, it just kind of depends if you eat breakfast normally or if you don't. Um, most of the time, um, like Anastasia said, um, a district tour will have a district suite that usually has like granola bars or something in the morning. So usually breakfast isn't a problem, but you'll need food for lunch and dinner most days, and then um, just kind of depending on how much Key Club paraphernalia you want to buy. Um, usually at International Convention, I go ham with um, all my Key Club shirts and um, stuff like that. And so um, it just kind of depends on you and what you feel like is going to be best suited for you. Um, someone asked, um, are we allowed to leave the hotel during free time? Um, this is also going to uh, be a matter of uh, you, uh, the rules that your district administrator sets, but no, you are not allowed to just um, leave the hotel by yourself. Um, you are most likely, uh, you need it probably, like whatever your district sets, uh, whether it's a group of a uh, certain amount of people or whether you need a chaperone with you, um, but you can't just leave the hotel um, unsupervised during ICON. I'm just going to ask, what are the positions? Um, and so at International Convention, people can run for three positions. Um, international trustee, which is what me and Anastasia are. Um, we There's 11 of us, and we each have three districts. Um, and those are assigned by the international president, which is another position, and also the international vice president. Someone asked, should we bring a lot of snacks? <laughs> um, uh, 
it really is again up to you. Um, snacks are always good. I always travel with snacks uh, just because I don't like overpaying for uh, airport and like hotel food. But um, definitely, like if you want to bring snacks, you can. Just don't like bring an entire suitcase of <laughs> snacks and like uh, I don't know, like sell them illegally. Just bring for <laughs> yourself. No, this is this is a legitimate thing. We have people at our school that will like bring snacks and like sell candy um, and like make money at school at like keep up events too. So just bring snacks for yourself. That's actually a fundraiser my Q Club has. Um, if any of y'all still have school in the next couple months, I know I'm getting out in a couple weeks. So this not, might not be helpful to some people. But um, we like buy candy in bulk from Sam's or Costco, and um, then we sell them at our school for like a dollar, and we make a lot of money if that um, interests you in fundraising. It's a lot of topic, but. Oh, and also, um, I lost my train of thought. Also, what um, Anastasia was saying, um, when or if you find out who you're rooming with at International Convention, if you go through like a district tour, um, you could plan out um, with your roommates how much food you want to bring. Like, yeah. yes. like yeah. one person brings Oreos, one person brings granola bar, and just kind of like even it out like that. And so um, you have food for everyone, and you don't have a full suitcase of food. <laughs> Casey, I hope I'm rooming with you because Casey always brings baked goods. She brought like cupcakes. She she like made uh, brownies for our board meeting. So I hope I could. We're patched up with you. Uh, oh, this is a really fun question. Will there be a convention app? Um, so this is awesome, awesome. Thank you for asking. Um, this is one of the things that we talked about in terms of us um, really thinking outside the box for this convention um, and trying some new things. And so this year, um, we are making a few changes. Um, so instead of having a big program booklet, uh, we decided to allocate the money that we would uh, spend in printing uh, those um, into a really, really, really good convention app. And so there's going to be a lot of new features. And um, I think last year the convention app was awesome. It allowed you to connect with members. Um, it allowed you to see panelists for workshops, to see the schedule, what was going on. Um, but this year, um, the convention app is revamped, and we're all super excited about it. Um, and it's going to be just a really, really cool thing. Like, we cannot wait. We're counting down until the convention app comes out. Yeah, this year it's going to be really exciting. Um, it's going to be a great time for you to interact with people before International Convention. And so um, when you get to International Convention, um, <laughs> one thing that um, happened to me last year is, like, if you follow someone on social media before and then you, like, meet them in real life, and it's kind of just like, aha moment. Um, but <laughs> you can do that through the app this year, and so it's going to be a lot of fun. And there's also going to be, um, like, an icon Facebook page. Um, and like the like I'm going to icon event thing so definitely if you're going uh, make sure you join join in on that because just because um, there's gonna be updates and um, you know they do just be another way um, an easy way for you to connect with people that are going to convention um, in addition to the awesome really cool app that we're launching this year Um, Casey, do you have any tips to anyone that is running for international office this upcoming icon? Um, probably my biggest tip was just to make sure that you stay true to yourself throughout the campaign. Um, running for governor and trustee are both such stressful positions that sometimes it just gets really overwhelming. And so I would just um, remember to always be yourself and be true to who you are. And um, also just make sure you come prepared, um, that you know your speeches, that you're ready for some tough questions. And um, just make sure to stay true to yourself and be who you are throughout your entire campaign. Um, I definitely agree with Casey. Um, because being authentic, being genuine is really going to um, 
be seen by people um, that are, you know, in caucus rooms and in House of Delegates. Um, and definitely just uh, make sure you come prepared. And um, again, remember why it is that you joined Key Club um, and understand that um, it doesn't matter whether you are elected or not. Like, there's just so many different opportunities um, within this organization and within your uh, community that you can make an impact and you can make a difference. And so um, definitely just go out there, give it your best. And honestly, whatever happens uh, is what is meant to happen. And um, like, it's okay if you lose, it's okay if you win, uh, you're going to end up exactly where you are supposed to be. Um, and also for, uh, I guess, being on the other side of uh, someone that's answering questions at ICON and uh, going through the House of Delegates, um, it's I think it's really important uh, for people in caucus rooms to um, also kind of be courteous to the um, people running for office. I know sometimes um, it can get really, uh, you know, like really specific detailed questions, and those are good. Um, it's important that you guys are asking people that are, you know, going to be leading our organization next year, hard questions, um, and those uh, tough questions, but also just make sure that, like, as you're doing that, you're being respectful, um, that you are paying attention and staying off your phones, and um, just trying to understand that it takes so much guts, it takes so much time and preparation that these candidates have spent, um, you know, running at their convention and, you know, deciding to take this step. So just make sure you're respectful at every single level um, or at every single point of this convention. Um, and so you're asking, you know, uh, respectful questions and things like that. So just trying to understand. Uh, I know being from on the other side of, you know, and running for office, it's really nerve-wracking. Um, it's really, uh, like, like <laughs> it's really scary. Um, so just uh, try and understand, like you know, that the candidates are giving their best too. Someone asked, um, "Is it okay for us to take notes of the questions during House delegates and caucusing?" And of course, um, that's what um, one of the main reasons for the convention booklet is for. Um, and if you bring a notepad and remember to bring a pen. Um, just to, like jot down some few notes. Um, if there was something specific they said in their speech that you really, really enjoyed, um, make sure to um, jot that down. But of course, it's okay to take notes. Um, just make sure that you're being respectful while they're speaking. Um, someone asked if there is a committee during ICON if we want to be involved behind the scenes. Um, so the host committee. Excuse me. The host committee does a lot in planning ICON um, in terms of uh, providing volunteers and doing some of those things. But um, the international convention, um, the only really opportunity to be involved behind the scenes is um, to apply as an intern um, once you're out of Key Club. So after you have um, graduated from high school and you're no longer in Key Club, um, I think it's three years after you have uh, graduated, you are able to apply as an intern. So if you are a past international board member or if you are a past um, district board member, then you have the opportunity to apply to be an ICON intern. And so um, the three different positions, Casey, it's uh, workshops, um, elections, and what was is that? Are those the two? Uh, Yes. Yes. So those are the two. Um, there may there might be another one. It really depends on the year, but those are the two standing ones that are always there. And so if you are um, a past district board member and I board member, then you can apply. Um, and so they provide you with a lot of training. Um, you come a few days early, and you really um, learn about what it takes to put on something as um, as big and you know really organized as an international convention. So. There's that, but there's no opportunities in, um, if you are still in Key Club. Um, this isn't really behind the scenes, but it's something to like um, get involved throughout the convention, and that's um, Key TV. And, oh, um, yes, yes. Oh, my goodness, yes. Thank you, Casey. If you've um, attended past international conventions or if you go on to Key Club's YouTube, you can go and look at past Key TVs, and um, basically it's something that comes on the TVs um, at in all the hotel rooms at um, midnight, which is curfew, and um, 
throughout the day, members of QTV will go around interviewing people. Um, usually they have a little quiz um, and they ask people to see um, who can get the most right. And um, they ask people how they're enjoying the convention and they have little skits planned on QTV. And so it's a fun thing just um, as soon as you get in your room for curfew to go and um, look at, but that's one way that, um, so it's not necessarily behind the scenes, but it's something that you can get involved in um, through the convention. Yes, um, also, um, I just remember, so the four, there are four interns, um, and so those are, there's somebody in charge of workshops, there's somebody in charge of elections, um, there is an individual that is going uh, to be doing um, sessions and contests, so there are four opportunities for interns to come back. So I think that wraps up um, the question session of this webinar. Um, if we did not have a chance, an opportunity to answer your question, we will um, get back to you via email. Um, and you are more than welcome to email any of us, uh, Casey, myself, or your international trustee. Um, if you have any further questions about the international convention, um, I just just want to say that on behalf of, I, of the International Board, uh, we're just so, so excited for this year's International Convention. We really hope um, that you guys are able to come, uh, really reach out to us. We want to get to know you, especially if you are going to ICON, and even if you're not, um, uh, just because uh, we love making friends and we want to you know, get to know you before you come to ICON. So reach out to us. Uh, let us know if you have any questions, if you have any ideas um, you want to share with us. Uh, and just we really hope that you all um, enjoyed this webinar and that it was useful. Um, and just thank you. Thank you for coming. Um, all of the International Board's emails are on the website. Um, so if you go to qclub.com and then go to International Board, um, if you want to contact me, Anastasia, or any of your trustees, or if you don't know who your trustee is, um, they have their districts assigned on the website. So if you want to email any of us about any of questions, we'll be happy to reply and answer them. And use the hashtag KCGA16 to let everyone know that you are excited about coming to ICON. Um, uh, Casey and I can spend some time also on Twitter uh, in the next uh, couple of hours, too. If you guys have any questions, uh, just use that hashtag, and um, you might never know. Key Club might follow you back, so use that hashtag. Get excited. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking time out of um, busy weeks with AP testing and um, exams and everything like that. Um, we really appreciate it and really hope you got something on this webinar. Have a good night. Bye.